Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about NAT type. Now, this is just going through the issues that I have had with NAT type and the solution that I found eventually after going through everything online, uh, I uh, found a solution that worked for me. So I'm going to run you through um, that process, what happened, uh, how I got to improve my NAT type uh, and hopefully uh, it's the same for you you're having the same problems I was having, and this will help you solve your problems. So NAT type, I can't show you um, the setting screen that won't let me record that. So I've just got Elden Ring on at the moment. Um, so if you go into your settings, into network settings, scroll down a bit, it'll tell you your NAT type. Now I was on NAT type three, stuck on NAT type three, couldn't work out what was going on. So NAT type three, allowed me to be in the sort of situation you see on the screen. I could see messages. I could read messages. First off, down. Thanks, that's quite helpful. Uh, I could put my own messages down. Try striking butthole. Give me a spank. Um, that kind of thing worked. But uh, invasions. So it got me festering bloody finger on the bottom left there. I couldn't invade. No one invaded me. Multiplayer didn't work. Nothing was happening in that space. So I jumped online, as I'm sure you're doing right now. I uh, watched all the videos. Um, I reached out to Sony, uh, got some information from their helpline where they said I've got to open ports and gave me all the port numbers. I'm going to change but he, all this sort of uh, settings in my PlayStation. Did all that, nothing worked. I ended up calling in an IT expert to try and help me to figure out what was going on, and he explained it to me. So I'm going to tell you what he told me. Hopefully, like I said, if you are in exactly the same situation, this will make it all crystal clear for you. So the way he explained it to me, there's two, three NAT types. NAT type three, two, one. Uh, NAT type three is restricted. So basically, it means you do exactly what I was doing. You can see some stuff, um, but not a lot of data goes back and forth through the network. So you can't do multiplayer. Too much data, it won't handle it. Uh, NAT type two, is where you are plugging your uh, PlayStation or game console directly into a modem, which is then directly connected to the fiber to premises network. Uh, NAT type one, some internet providers will allow you to bypass the modem and plug your PlayStation or game console directly into the fiber network. So that's the three NAT types. That's basically what they are. NAT type one, from your unit directly to the network. NAT type two goes from a unit through a modem to the network. NAT type three is restricted. Now, when I had NAT type three, the reason I was on that is I was using a 5G modem. Now, the new modem I've got for the fiber to uh, premises, uh, that has a 4G backup. When it was first set up, uh, the fiber wasn't working properly and I was using the 4G backup. I was still stuck on NAT type three. And the way the tech explained it to me is 4G and 5G, there's not enough data going through quickly enough for it to be able to handle multiplayer online game. So essentially, if you're on a 4G or 5G network, there's not really much you can do. I followed all the guides online. I followed all the information direct from Sony did everything they said to the letter, got the tech in, he did everything they said to the letter, it did not work. The only thing that worked is when I changed my plug into the direct to network fiber. Oh, sorry, direct to premises fiber. So unfortunately, if you are on 4G or 5G, it's not gonna change. You're stuck with NAT type three. The only way to change it is to change your internet connection change the way it gets to you, you've got to get fibre to premises. Now, I could be wrong, there could be another way to do it, but I tried everything online, I tried all the guides, I tried all the settings, it did not work. So unfortunately, like I say, if you're 4G, 5G, my advice is suck it up because you're stuck with it. It's not going to change. Nothing I could find would make mine change and I tried everything. Like I said, I got an expert in, didn't change. Um, as soon as I plugged into the fiber network, it instantly changed. I didn't have to change any settings in the machine. 
you know, imagine a seven-year-old gets a PlayStation for his birthday and he tries to plug it in. He's not going to have to sit there and enter IP addresses. He should just be able to plug straight into the network and play multiplayer online. That's what happened with me. That's the only time it changed. So unfortunately, like I said, not a solution for you if you've got 4G or 5G, but at least an explanation so you know what's going on. So if that's your problem, you've got a 4G, 5G, sorry, you're going to have to change your network. Might need to pay a little bit more. But as far as I'm aware, that's the only way it's going to change. So apologies for those people that I wasn't able to provide a solution for. Hopefully you've at least got an explanation and now you've got a plan to move forward and solve the issues with your NAT type. So happy gaming, good luck, and hope to see you online.